Hello. It's a great pleasure to be here, and it's an honour to be giving the Adrian Leftwich Memorial Lecture. I never met him, but I read about him, and I've read some of his works. He made major contributions to the politics of development, in particular on the nature of the developmental state, and he argued that politics needs to be given primacy in development analysis, and he explored the nature of political coalitions which would be likely to support progressive change. His activities, as David said, extended well beyond analysis, and he worked actively and influentially with aid agencies here and in Australia and elsewhere. Now, you could conclude that there's nothing unusual or surprising about a political scientist giving primacy to politics. Um, yet, in some ways, this is incorrect, because economists have dominated the field of development, even to the extent of dominating political science. And after a lifetime as, of working as an economist in development, I'm convinced with Adrian that it's politics which should have primacy. And I think this view is increasingly being shared, partly due to his work. Uh, the critical importance of politics is especially apparent in the realm of inequality, because we know that inequality, as David just said, is absolutely at the top of the list of academics, interest, and policy interest, and yet there is almost nothing being done about it. In fact, in many respects, and I won't say more now, I'm sure Alex will say a lot about this, in many respects, the reverse. So it's a very appropriate topic to be starting with. And I start with a quotation from Rousseau, which I hope you were reading whilst I was talking, which basically Rousseau is a huge egalitarian saying that citizens agreed to a social contract under which each would be equal. 